As a preliminary step, proper mixing is the best way to avoid the development of air bubbles in an epoxy system. Proper mixing ensures that not too much air entrapment takes place. As shown in this example, mixing should be done slowly and thoroughly to prevent injecting air into the compound. It's important to remove air bubbles before using an epoxy system. Air bubbles may cause voids or air gaps in the epoxy, which can lead to poor adhesive performance. The most effective way to remove air bubbles from an already mixed, unfilled two-part system is by using a centrifuge. Please refer to the user manual for specific instructions on how to use your centrifuge. High-quality de-aeration can be accomplished with a centrifuge at 1,000 to 3,000 RPM for a few minutes. If you still see air bubbles, you will need to repeat the centrifuge cycle and adjust the RPM if needed. This process may be repeated several times until you reach the desired result. Remember, air bubble removal is an important way to ensure the most suitable end result when working with a two-part epoxy system.